What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here. Today, I'm going to bring you guys a breakdown and analysis of the gameplay trailer we got for Exo Zombies today. This is our first proper look into Exo Zombies. We've got a little bit of gameplay, about a minute or so, or more cinematics even, from the trailer last Tuesday. But today, we got a real look at Exo Zombies. A lot of interesting things that I've picked out, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this breakdown. So first off, we get a look at the John Malkovich character, and uh, just looking at his tattoos, we can kind of see that he's probably had quite a combat-heavy background. It looks like he might have been in some sort of secret service or marines or some kind of like black operations where he's seen some combat and uh, it looks like while he doesn't have as much clearance as the other characters he's just a janitor so he doesn't have much clearance at all to, in terms of like opening doors he's uh, probably going to have some more skills in terms of actual fighting the zombies and with weapons and he's probably gonna be much more proficient than the others we can see a lot of cutscenes in this trailer which kind of tells us there will be a lot of cutscenes in the game hopefully there'll be like intel piece we can unlock and we can uh, see more cutscenes in the menus and i'm sure as the game starts off we're going to see a lot of cutscenes and kind of like learn more about what's going on with this outbreak and then we can see this guy who's the like executive and kind of a very high up within atlas and again with the whole clearance thing i think it's going to be very important with the zombies that every character has their own clearance so this guy's obviously gonna have lots and lots of clearance he's may open a lot of doors he's be able to access lots of secret areas and kind of make big decisions maybe there's like uh, really powerful weapons that he has access to because he's very higher up we've got the security guard who's probably gonna be able to open like weapon stashes and security areas where there might be certain weapons and certain surveillance cameras to be able to do things and that's similar to the next character who's like computer analyst who's probably gonna be able to have uh, much more technological expertise and be able to open a lot more doors and be able to tap into certain things hack doors open and do things like that and in the next thing we get a very interesting look at a lot of cool things we can see definitely a perk machine in the background to the left and we can see a glowing cord leading to it indicating that we're gonna have to be able to activate these there's probably some kind of switch on the wall or some machine we have to go up to and uh, something maybe we pay money to be able to activate it then you follow the glowing cord and it's going to activate the perk we can't exactly tell what the perk is maybe you guys feel free to guess in the comment section what you think that symbol kind of represents looks somewhat like a bird or like an eagle with wings and uh, i'm not too sure what that perk will be but it's definitely what a perk machine is going to be we can also see a bunch of kill streaks and like that claw icon in the little hexagons those drop from care packages outside the map and we can also see on the very bottom of the screen we see double points we can see the roman numerals of two and uh, multiply next to it so that is what the double points is going to look like and you can see the kind of the red outline of the hexagon that kind of goes down as the power up runs out so you can see exactly how long the power-up is going to last and that's where they're going to be and we can all see this electric zombie when he melees the player he actually uh, EMPs him and he destroys all of his heads up display takes it all away blurs the screen very similar to a system hack you have to reboot your exo and the next scene is very interesting as well we're up to around 20 as you can see in the top left and uh, you can see the trap icon which I couldn't really tell from the last trailer what it would mean but I think from this is very telling that this is the trap icon and that's kind of like a power-up and you can see the red lasers that are just cutting all of the zombies I'm not sure whether they rotate but that definitely kind of comes out from the middle platform there and any zombies that walk around they're going to get their legs cut off pretty much and probably turn into crawlers so the kind of trap icon on the bottom is that how we'll be able to tell if there's a trap active and we can also see something very interesting uh, on the kind of a uh, wall we can see hazard warning at 83 percent we can also see there's main platform with four exosuits i believe this is some sort of way to power up your exosuits you definitely have exosuits before that but uh, in later scenes that i'll show you in a second you can see the characters walk up to them and it seems to give you some sort of energy or charge makes more powerful maybe you can jump more uh have more health and stuff like that but it also seems that the more you spend uh, the more time you spend in this room uh, that hazard warning goes up and there's also just behind the character right now that i'll show in a couple scenes uh, there's also a bunch of those yellow kind of exploding toxic zombies and uh, so it seems like once that hazard warning gets to 100 percent it's going to start releasing those toxic zombies so you can't spend too long in this room and uh, also there's another one of those what could be a perk machine or some kind of interesting machine that uh, the glowing cord is leading so there's a lot of interesting things in these heads up displays, not things to tell. Next up, we get a look at something absolutely crazy. This is similar to a hellhound. That's what I'm going to call it until we get like an official name for it. But it's these crazy like greyhound guard dogs. And uh, they seem to mutate. They've got these weird like predator type mouths that open in very weird ways. And uh, they're definitely, definitely not going to be friendly. So you want to be running away from those. Probably going to happen every few rounds that you get some of these uh, coming after you. Then we get a look at these uh, kind of exo power up machines that I was talking about. It looks like these are going to be somehow energy you and making you uh, better and more kind of powerful and you can see his access to these on round six they're going to be available from very earlier on but i believe there's multiple of these on the map you can also see in the background those kind of toxic zombies i was talking about and uh, then we can see a green camo on a weapon not sure if there's some kind of pack a punch maybe there are different kind of camos you can put on guns that affect them and make them do different things uh, but we're not too sure this is an atlas 45 pistol that has some sort of green camo and again it's available on ramp uh, round five so it's not really too high and again we can see also 
one of those glowing cords leading to another machine. Then the next scene we can see an assault drone, an actual kill streak going to work and it's shooting some of the missiles. We can see the Atlas 45 again with a different camo this time. We can see this is like a desert camo. I'm not sure what the camo is, but again, there's going to be different camos in this game, so they probably indicate uh, different attachments and different uh, versions from the pack a punch and random boxes. And uh, we can also see a strange part with kind of like three claw marks in his uh, exo just above his ammo there. And then the next thing we can see something really cool to see coming back. This is the random box and what it's going to look like in exo zombies. And it's a 3D printer. So you got you can see it cycling through weapons to the EM1 laser as one of them, which I think is going to be very interesting because that's obviously infinite ammo. All you have to do is wait for it to overheat. So that's going to be a very good weapon to have for zombies, I think. They'll probably give it a lot of recoil and make it quite weak. But uh, this thing is infinite ammo. So definitely going to be one of the more important weapons. And I can't wait to see whether it's actually a good gun in exo zombies. In theory, it really should be. And uh, when you actually get a weapon, it prints it in front of you, which is really cool. It's got this like cool animation where this arm goes through and creates the weapon in front of you with a 3D printer. We can see the wonder weapon being printed. So you can see uh, that's how you get the wonder weapon. It's out of the random box, very similar to past zombie games. And it's cool to know this is how you're going to be able to get it. You're going to get it straight out of the random box. Don't have to build it or fish for any parts. You're going to be able to get it very quickly. And if you're lucky, you may be able to get this new weapon, the quarterizer, uh, very, very early on. It's of course a direct energy shotgun. So very cool that we can get that out of the random box very simply. Then we can see another scene after a bit more gameplay with the quarterizer. We can see uh, it says there's a sign. I'm not really sure, too sure what to make of this. It says administration, no weapons beyond this point. Perhaps there'll be a room where no weapons are allowed to be used. Maybe none of them work or maybe it takes your weapons off you. Not too sure. It's just a crazy theory, but perhaps there's a weapon where or there's a room like an area with uh, metal detectors. You can't go there if you have weapons or your weapons won't work in there. Just a thought. Thought I'd throw that in there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And uh, then next up, we have a very interesting room, which seems to have a lot of arrows pointing towards it. These big red kind of pipes with uh, the arrows pointing towards this platform, which she's standing on. And uh, perhaps it's some sort of teleporting pad or a pack-a-punch pad. But there's definitely something interesting about this pad. I can definitely guarantee there's going to be something interesting and important, which you have to do with this. You can also see another example of a trap, which is these slamming doors, which slam every second or so. And you can again see the trap logo in the bottom, which uh, signifies that there's a trap running. It's going to be slamming them. You can see a lot of gore. These guys uh, just get all of their body parts chopped off. We can see more of these kind of like Nova similar zombies, which have this green gas and they're kind of very toxic. As you can see, as I said earlier, when that percentage reaches 100, these guys can start coming out of their chambers and attacking you. They look like they're a lot of trouble with their kind of green gases everywhere. We also see another zombie which has electrified kind of effects to him and also seems to have the exo ping kind of going off. It look, it's the same animation and multiplayer as when you got exo ping, like the red kind of pulsing uh, radius is coming out for you. So I'm not sure what to make of that. We can also see another zombie with kind of green flames coming out of him. He's got a mixture of blue, green, and red flames. So I'm not really too sure what's going on with these abilities. It looks like they're going to be able to access some really, really crazy things. You can see him explode as a massive, massive explosion. We also get a look at the actual starting area. This is round two, and you can see it's very quiet. It's the outside section, which is kind of raining. It's just outside the building, and you can see zombies kind of crawling out of these little holes. This is going to be what the starting area will look like. And again, we can see the exo station one again so that kind of signifies really multiple exo stations and the arrows on the top of it are very similar to that pad I was talking about with the red arrows pointing to the room and I think there'll be lots of these dotted around the map which each one kind of powers up your exo suit and may maybe you can get like a more premium exo suit that makes it a little bit more powerful than the starting uh, default one so hopefully you enjoyed this video there's been a lot to talk about if I missed a thing drop it in the comment section to have a discussion about exo zombies what you think and what you're anticipating not very long until it launches exactly one week from now expect a ton of videos on my channel as normal covering this DLC multiplayer and exo zombies and anything else I can find. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Drop a like rating if you found it informational and I'll see you guys on the next video.